never saw e-foiling for sure on Instagram, seeing some pro riding in probably some epic place. And yeah, never in a million years think, like I thought when I watched that, well, that's gonna be me one day. <laughs> I mean, when I say achievable, I don't care if you're a professional athlete or you sit on a couch all day long. This is for you and you can do it. That's all I can say. <laughs> How familiar am I with the ocean? Well, I grew up in Idaho and experienced no ocean most of my entire life. First, Damien was like, Ashley, we're gonna go out there. So turn to your left. And he didn't say why, because I don't think, he, I think you didn't want to scare me. And then he's like, okay, we're gonna go a little bit more out because there's some dolphins right next to us. Dolphins, are you freaking kidding me? Oh my God, there was like 25 or 30 dolphins everywhere. And I was just in a happy place. First time experience and she got to see dolphins and it was just magic. The process of learning and maybe learning from someone like Damien that knows what they're doing is probably pretty important because I think that if I were to just have my own and try to do it on my own. I mean, I'm sure I would figure it out, but I don't think I would have been foiling on my first day. And the trick would be to try to turn your foot so it's more like surfing. Yeah. Yep. And normally we, when we take people out, you have like kind of three little levels, I would say. One is just getting used to the remote laying down, you're riding laying down. Great for a family, great for just beginners. So you just ride laying down, get comfortable with the throttle, the power, enjoy the experience. You'll see it's dead quiet. You can talk to everybody, it's really cool. The next level would be you go to your knees. And when you go to your knees, you're just kind of learning the balance of the board, how it kind of weight shifts, and then getting comfortable with, do I feel good on my knees? Do I feel like I have that control? And then the next step would be standing up, which is always like, you know, the most exciting thing because people just jump right up to their feet. And in reality, if they just take it slow, they'll just stand right up. So I'm pretty sure there's one huge takeaway for the day for me, and it's that foiling isn't something that maybe I'll do in another lifetime. It's obviously something that I can do right now. Maybe I won't ever be able to like kite foil or wing foil or surf foil, but e-foiling, obviously I just did it today. Oh, you did so good. Oh, that was it. That yeah, was really thank covered. you. <laughs> I feel so lucky.